Hi, I'm Brian Jackson with IT World Canada, and we're continuing our interviews today at Technicity. With me now, I have one of our panel participants, Gabrielle Wu, the Vice President of Innovation at RBC. That's a cool title. I thought you made really interesting points on the panel, and it was great to hear what a bank uh, is doing with the Internet of Things. Do you want to just remind us here, give us a bit, bit of an overview? One of the earliest use cases of IoT from a banking perspective is probably the advent of mobile banking. Right? Until smartphones existed, I mean, the better ways of checking balances was probably calling in or going online at a desktop or a laptop computer. And when mobile banking became possible, you know, people can check their balances, make payments, transfer money, you know, pay their friends back, you know, all from a mobile phone. So they could do that basically anywhere and any time. You know, we're doing a lot of experimentation right now, looking at different types of IoT technologies, you know, all really around the sort of the idea of how do we provide better value, better experiences, more personalized, customized experiences to our clients, leveraging some of the data that's available through IoT. I know I'm always banking on my smartphone now. And uh, you raised a point during the panel is that because people are doing this more often, you're actually learning more about your users and that uh, some aspects of user behavior were even surprising that you learned some things. So tell us about that. One of the things that we track is the frequency of usage of our clients. Uh, and so in the online banking world, you know, probably on average, your clients checked their balances once a week or once every 10 days or so. So, because that requires you to sit down at a computer and log in, um, you know, sort of dedicated time to doing that. Um, one thing we didn't realize or we didn't expect uh, when we launched mobile banking was that that behavior was going to change quite dramatically. Um, so nowadays, with mobile banking, on average, clients are checking their balances, you know, sometimes once a day, and, and many clients actually check multiple times a day. Uh, and th so that was kind of an experience or, uh, or, or a client behavior that we didn't quite expect and wasn't able to anticipate. Although like when we see that now, we actually think that's a quite healthy kind of behavior where clients are becoming much more engaged uh, in terms of managing their finances and, and you know, knowing what their financial positions uh, and situations are. Improving that financial literacy, so that's positive. Absolutely, yeah. And then uh, you, when banks are implementing these new technologies, they often work with a startup in what we call the fintech space. And you were touched on this on the panel as well, about how uh, you learn to have a flexible approach uh, at RBC when dealing with these sort of companies. The ability to work with small companies is something that we've developed over time. In particular, I think nowadays with fintech, you know, this, this movement of lots of startup companies, you know, leveraging technology to, to help deliver financial services. You know, great ideas that are out there um, that we want to be able to leverage by partnering and working with these companies. One of the things that we realized though, you know, banking being one of the most regulated industries and therefore banks being, you know, some of the lar largest institutions having to comply with regulations. Um, there are a lot of, and not just because of regulations, but there are also because uh, other things around big companies. There are lots of processes um, in place to help ensure, um, you know, all the, all the required steps are, are, are taken. A lot of small companies, you know, because of their size, like, you know, some of these companies that we work with are, you know, two or three people when they, when we meet them and start engaging with them, um, you know, don't have the resources and, and oftentimes don't have the capital to last them long enough to get through some of these kinds of processes, you know, be it, you know, internal or regulatory. So one of the things that we've developed or sort of worked on is finding ways of streamlining those processes, which by no means are cutting any corners, but how do we find ways of doing things uh, much more quickly, much more streamlined way, and still you know, get everything that we need in these partnerships or bringing on board some of these partners. And so you know, that, that's one of those really important things I think that we've learned um, over the course of the last you know, number of years of working with startup companies that's actually important uh, to them in order for us to be able uh, to, to, to you know, be good partners to them and also to help, you know, really help them succeed. Thanks so much, Gabriel. For IT World Canada, I'm Brian Jackson. Be sure to check out more videos from Technicity on our website.